let me share with you how to research faster using Google Chrome tab groups. I'm researching three topics, ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and AI, artificial intelligence. And as part of my research, I have a lot of tabs opened. The question I keep asking myself is what is the fastest way to organize sources into one clean workspace using Google Chrome? Let me show you the fastest way to organize sources into one clean workspace using Google Chrome. Since I'm researching three topics, I would be much more efficient if my data is organized using three groups. Chrome allows me to organize and add tabs into new groups. To do this, right-click on the tab and add tab into the particular group. Here you can select the color and type the group's name. After I added the first Chrome tab into the group, the group chat GPT shows up right here along with other tabs in the browser. Let me go ahead and organize other tabs into the groups so you can see the effect. After I organized all my groups into three topics, I can expand and contract groups, I can move them around, and I can close them as necessary to have a fresh start on a new topic. You can also move the group into a new window and do a dedicated research there on a particular topic. In my case, it's AI, artificial intelligence. And here's the best part. You convert Kiosk into a reusable color-coded research packet that's easy to find and easy to hide, especially when you're not using it. Let me walk you through how to research faster with Google Chrome Site Panel Reading Mode. Most of today's web pages are designed with the flashy videos, a lot of links, and appealing images. Unfortunately, when I come to the page to research the topic, it distracts me, and a lot of times I forget where I came here. If you right-click on the page and select Open in Reading Mode, Google Chrome creates a new panel which allows you to focus just on reading. You can drag the panel border to minimize the original article, and you can even adjust fonts and spacing for comfort. You can remove unnecessary links, and change the color theme. You can even change the line height as well as the letter spacing. This allows you to turn a noisy page into a comfortable reading lane that makes comprehending of the material and learning much, much easier. Let's together organize your research so you can quickly find the missing tab with Google Chrome Tab Search. If you're like me and have millions of tabs opened when doing your research, you will definitely benefit from this little trick. Manually hunting through tabs bleeds minutes every hour. Using Google Chrome's tab search lets you type a keyword and jump straight to the tab that you need. To access Google Chrome's tab search, you click on the bottom in the upper right corner. Here you see all of your open tabs and you can actually read through tab title and tab description. So having it in an organized way already improves your productivity because just looking at these tabs helps you find what you're looking for much faster. But you can also type the keyword of what you're searching for and filter down to find exactly what you're looking for. For example, let's say I'm searching for Gemini. Chrome filter down and shows only the tabs that have Gemini in the title. Isn't it cool? There are a couple other tricks for you. You can use keyboard shortcut Control shift a to access Google Chrome tab search. And you can also use Control plus 1, Control plus 2, plus 3, and up to 8 to switch between the tabs. These little tricks allow you to replace slow tab hunting with instant, precise jumps that keep your brain always at work. Let me show you how to review, mark up, and hand off a PDF without leaving Microsoft Edge browser. I have a PDF file in Windows File Explorer, and I'm going to right-click on the file, select Open With, and select Microsoft Edge. Typically, you would open PDF in Adobe Acrobat Viewer, but when you need to make quick edits or annotate the PDF, jumping between the apps slows you down, you lose comments and derail approvals. When you open PDF in Edge, it shows you built-in PDF toolbar, which gives you highlight, ink, comments, add notes to quickly update your PDF file. If you're trying to emphasize the most important points of the document, Highlighter is the best tool. You can choose a different color and update the thickness of your highlights. The best thing is that when you color-coded something, it emphasizes the wall of text into read these lines now. You just need to agree with your team members on emphasis color. For example, yellow would be must-read and green might be optional. You can use Draw tool, choosing pen's thickness and color, to circle numbers, underline totals, or sign initials. It's very useful because freehand markup is the fastest way to point something that matters in a document or on a call. If you annotated something by mistake, you can remove it with the eraser. And you can also add text to highlight something for readability. 
A lot of times having combinations of highlighting notes and text gives the most emphasis. And you can use mini text toolbar to adjust size, alignment, color to improve readability. And obviously you can reposition the text so it gets noticed and also getting highest chances to get scanned using copy machine. And here's the best part. Not everything has to be on the screen. When you highlight the text, you can add notes with longer sentences. To do this, just right mouse click, select add comment and add additional instructions here. And once you're done making notes, make sure to save PDF with the different name to preserve the original copy of the document. Quite often, you might end up with a lot of tabs in Edge when doing research, and trying to find something that you really need quickly is a real challenge. Microsoft Edge has a little-known feature to help you stay organized. The small secret button is located in the upper left corner, and it's called Tab Actions menu. You can turn off vertical tasks, search tabs, organize tabs, reopen recently closed tabs, open tabs from other devices, and create a new workspace. Turn on vertical tabs allows you to see all information organized on the left. You can pin this pane and expand it so you can see the full title, and quickly jump between the tabs to find what you're looking for. You can also search for what you're looking for to find information very quickly, and you can jump to the required tab right after completing the search. You can also ask AI to help organize tabs for you. You just go to the Tab Actions menu and select Organize Tabs. And in seconds, AI completed the analysis and organized tabs into two groups, Microsoft Office and Artificial Intelligence. All you need to do is confirm the choices. Later, you can change the color of the group and rename it as necessary, as well as expand them and contract them to reduce your cognitive load and make context switching predictable. The coolest thing, though, is that you can recover a tab or the entire window you just closed to do an instant undo for the oops moments. All you need to do is navigate to the menu and select Recently Closed Tabs. And Edge will help you restore individual tabs as well as the groups, so you can quickly return back to accidentally closed information. Using tabs from other devices allows you to continue work from your phone or second laptop without emailing yourself any links. But the feature I love the most is Create a New Workspace. It allows you to save the whole session of tabs as a named workspace that you can reopen later or share for repeatable projects. For example, I have all these tabs open right now in Microsoft Office Group as well as Artificial Intelligence Group. I can go to Tabs Action menu, select Create a new workspace, and give it a name. I'll call it Microsoft and AI Research. Edge created a new workspace for me, and now I can select what I would like to have in this workspace. To do this, I select the tab, select Move Tab to, and select Microsoft and AI Research Workspace, which I just created. Workspace shows up in a separate window different from your Edge browser. You can have both windows side by side, especially when you're adding new tabs. Now, as we populated workspace with the links, we can close browser window as well as workspace window. And when you launch Edge browser again, you can navigate to workspaces button in the upper left corner and reopen your workspace, Microsoft and AI research to continue your research exactly where you left off. And if you want to go deeper on the topic, make sure to watch this video next.